Hi, Kevin. Thank you for joining us at Canal Recipes, and um, thank you for accepting this interview. So, um, first of all, what brings you to the Linux kernel, on, uh, maybe around also the uh, embedded world? Well, I guess I got started in the Linux kernel after I started working at a company that wanted to write to Linux device drivers. So I started doing some Linux device drivers for that company, and I just... Uh, started getting deeper and deeper and I just wanted to know more and more and then eventually this same company had a chip that was a new architecture and so um, I, I tried to porting the kernel to that architecture and I didn't do very well but it got me really deep into kernel internals and ever since I've been really interested in working on all sorts of aspects of the kernel so that was back in about 98 to 99 time frame so I've basically been doing it ever since. So. And uh, on your daily basis, what do you like the most in your daily job? What brings you every day to work with a smile and say, yeah, I have to go and I want to do my job? Well, I think these days I work for Bay Libra, so we're a small consulting company. And uh, what I like about Bay Libra right now is doing many different things. So some days I come to work and I'm writing a brand new driver for an MMC, new MMC chip or something, and other days... I'm helping some, you know, junior engineers learn some new, learn a new part of the kernel that they haven't known. And some other days, I'm helping try to find customers that, you know, need some help in their embedded Linux or something like that. So, I think I like every day doing something a little bit different. But I still like those days when I just get to come and write a new driver or learn something new or have to dig into a new part of the kernel that I don't know. Okay. And uh, what's your next challenge regarding? The Linux, uh, the Linux kernel. What are you targeting for the, maybe the next month or the next year? What are your the topics you you would love to to develop? Yeah. So the topics I'm really interested in finishing or working on now are generally in the power management uh, area. So I I would like to kind of unify some parts of the power management where we do things slightly differently for devices than we do for CPUs. And there's a lot of work to try to unify that. Uh, so the kernel's evolved slightly differently for CPUs than it has for devices. And it's a big challenge to integrate those because there's a lot of legacy in how we manage CPUs. And I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to just combine some things, but it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of people to kind of get together to do that. But I think that's my, that's my biggest challenge for the next couple of years. It'll probably be a couple of years, actually, before we finally get something that can be merged. But uh, it's a pretty big one. Okay. And uh, if you can pass a call or a message to the people which are watching you right now, what would be, what are you, what would you love people helping you or do you want to pass a message or to hire more people or to get people more attracted into your topics? Mm. Do you want to, to pass them a, a call maybe? Yeah, I guess, um, let's see, what would I, I mean, we definitely need help in power management to the, the kernel power management, especially in embedded power management. There's a lot of, there's lots of work to be done and not, um, not a lot of interest because it tends to be an area where, especially chip vendors, they want to fix power management only at the end of their development cycle or end of the product cycle. So it often gets left out. So I th I'd say uh, just in general, more interest in the embedded power management would be great. Um, I know there are a lot of people that are interested, but they tend to, it, it tends to just get bumped down on the priority list. So, But yeah, that's another area. I mean, I think the other thing I would say... Um, the people that are watching this is yeah come come to kernel recipes and uh, come to conferences like this whenever possible conferences like kernel recipes or embedded linux conference or things like that is great for just seeing what's going on and finding discovering something that you might want to work on and just kind of you know getting a new topic and and diving right in um, that's happened to me a couple times at conferences where i i find a, a subject that i'm really curious about and i just end up going home and studying more and learning it and and then end up using it so um, to unfrighten, I don't know if it's in there, but if you want to unfrighten the people that want to help you, what would be your entry price ticket maybe for being able to help you? Can you just give an idea of what is expected for the ones who, that would be interested in to the power, man power management? Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a ticket. I'd say, I mean, I'd say just ask. I mean, it's, there's no harm in asking. Usually, sometimes we'll say that, uh, you know, that the idea that somebody has if they're new it might be too hard for them to do but there's no harm in asking I, I don't know that there's a there's an there's not an entry ticket but I think for some particular projects there may be a pretty big barrier to entry once once you get started and learn how complicated it is but uh, I think 
I'm, I'm definitely willing to help people if they're really interested in the subject. I can point them in many directions of how they might be able to help us. So, um, yeah, I think just ask. I mean, don't be afraid to ask by mail or by IRC or, or you know, at a conference or anything. So that's another good thing about conferences, just meeting people face to face and realizing that they're not, uh, they're, they're people just like anybody else. And you can go and talk to them and you can have a beer with them and, you know, just ask some, ask even if you think they're silly questions. I mean, the, maintainers and kernel developers are people just like everybody else so we like to talk we like to hear what's going on hear what other people have for their challenges so yeah just ask so thank you kevin it was very nice to see you again at kind of recipes um see you maybe next year i hope so yeah. on the say you on the, the linux uh, project okay thank you yeah it's my th my third time at kernel recipes and i hope to be back next year too so Thank you for the time. Cool. Thank you.